Hey, what's up you guys? You're watching Team APS. And in the last video, I gave you five retro spells that you might have forgotten about. So now I'm going to give you five retro traps that you might have forgotten about. And these are both follow-ups to 10 retro monsters that you might have forgotten about. So let's get started. The first card is Dark Bribe. So um, for those who don't know, Dark Bribe can negate any spell or trap that your opponent activates, and then they draw a card. Um, this was huge, actually, back in the day. The card was really tough to get a hold of, though, so it didn't actually see a lot of mainstream play unless you were super competitive and willing to invest the money. But um, being able to negate any spell or trap was a really powerful effect, especially because unlike Solemn Judgment, you didn't have to pay half of your life points. Now, your opponent did get a draw out of the deal, but the idea behind this card was that if you were negating that crucial spell that was going to perhaps win them the game, like, say, a Heavy Storm or a Monster Reborn, then them drawing a card oftentimes didn't matter, especially if you were negating something like maybe Mirror Force that was going to stop you from winning that turn. So as long as you won that turn, you were generally in good shape. Um, I would say though that it these days has just kind of been outclassed. There are things like, you know, <laughs> everything really, wiretap, um, a lot of monsters negate spells and traps. Um, it just really these days it's pretty much yeah it's just not really relevant anymore but back in the day dark bribe was a really cool alternative card to solemn judgment and it was really useful in like decks that just needed to be aggressive and might get ruined by something like a turn to tribute of mirror forest next card sakuratsu armor um so we all know the deep prison replaced this card i'll just go ahead and get that out the door now but um sakuratsu armor was kind of the precursor to that card and um also, Deep Prison was really tough to get a hold of, but uh, Soccer Two Armor does the same thing as Deep Prison, except it just destroys the monster instead of banishing the monster. Obviously not as good, but back in the day, um, that was a really good effect. Um, monsters these days float so much that like Soccer Two Armor and Dante, please go ahead, you know, or like a construct or whatever. Window won't even die, but. Um, these days, you know, it's not good, but back in the day, just being able to destroy a single monster was great, because you could run three of this. Mirror Force was only one, so I know now, obviously, the card to run should be Mirror Force. There's, like, no reason why you wouldn't, but, um, still, I would say that, um, it was just a cool card. Uh, it was easy to get a hold of, it was common, and that was great, so it was kind of accessible for a lot of newer players, came in, like, a lot of starter and structure decks, so... Just a neat card, and one that I always remember playing in like pretty much everything until I got things like Deep Prison. Next is Divine Wrath. Um, cool card that sees very on and off play. It's one of those extreme counter traps. Um, it negates any monster's effect that activates anywhere, so even like, you know, something that activates in the hand or in the grave. Tough concept for some people to grasp. But, um, you had to discard a card. Now, a lot of decks couldn't like take that discard, obviously. Um, but if your deck was able to successfully discard cards without losing a whole lot of advantage, Divine Wrath is a really powerful card, being able to basically negate anything, and um, counter traps are really strong. It wasn't, it kind of like covered that one base that Solemn Judgment couldn't actually like cover, so that was nice. Um, but it, I think that of you know, the traps on this list, it probably saw the least play overall, but it was a really popular card, especially in the side decks. when you're facing decks that had monster effects that activated in kind of weird places that was really strong, so that's one of my cards. Next card's Dust Tornado. Uh, so there was a time when MST was at one, I know, believe it or not, and so when MST was at one, Heavy was also at one, but we're gonna ignore that for a while. Um, Dust Tornado was a really popular card to use. You could use it in the main deck, or you could use it in the side deck. It was just extra spell and trap removal, which, you know, is actually really, really useful. Um, if your opponent ran a deck with a lot of back row or ran lots of continuous spells and traps, it was good. And Dust Tornado also let you set your spell and trap after spell and trap, spell or trap after you activated it. So kind of a cool um, idea behind this card was because Heavy Storm was around, you didn't really want to be setting more than like one card at a time. If you could help it, you could actually set Dust Tornado and say you had like a Dust Tornado and like um, a Sakura Two Armor or something in your hand. You could set Dust Tornado and then use it to destroy an opponent's spell or trap, then set your Sakuretsu armor, or, you know, some other trap during your opponent's turn, but still keep the amount of cards set that you have at one, so you won't be at risk of losing the heavy storm. So, um, yeah, that always made uh, Dust Rider really cool, and it was just popular side, popular main deck card for, like, aggressive decks. Um, 
Shame it's not run now because now we have freaking Galaxy Cyclone, Night Beam, and like everything else under the roof. So, uh, not really seeing anymore in Twister. Don't make me forget that. And MSC's at three, so no point. But yeah, Dust Hunter was cool and one of the ones I remember. And the last card for me is Trap Hole. Uh, Trap Hole, just when your opponent normal summoned the monster with a thousand more attack, you flipped it and the monster got destroyed. Boom. So, um, this card. Useful, obviously, in the early days of Yu-Gi-Oh! I mean, it came in, like, the starter decks, but my most important use of it that I remember was actually using it against Black Wings because whenever they would use it with... Whenever they would have, like, Black Whirlwind, you could trap hold the monster they summon and they wouldn't be able to search, and that was always really important to me, so I like to use Trap Hole against it. And in the slow days of Yu-Gi-Oh! Trap Hole itself was actually just really useful. Most monsters, or most decks, couldn't summon more than, like, you know, one monster a turn, unlike today where, you know, it's just like, uh, let me just summon everything. Well, um, in those days, you couldn't necessarily do that, so one trap hole could just end a turn, and that was really valuable. Uh, I would say, though, that these days, trap hole just, just kind of doesn't cut it. Uh, you'd obviously rather have bottomless, even if it's at one, and, like, you know, trap hole nightmare and all that stuff. You'd rather have those. But, still, um, there will always kind of be a place in my heart for trap hole. It was a cool card. It was a good trap. It was a safe card, and I liked it. So that concludes my five retro traps that you might have forgotten about. Um, there are loads of runner-ups I could have included. I mean, I, there are all sorts of traps we all like to run. You know, Wabuku's a popular one. Um, uh, one of the ones that I was probably going to include was actually like Magic Cylinder, because uh, that was like a cool little way to win out of nowhere. But those are my five traps. What are your five traps? Leave them in the comments, because if you've been playing this game for a while, you'll know there are like loads of things. Um, so. Hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. And remember, you can win a playmat. Um, one of the three Yu-Gi-Oh! Chibi playmats that were just released. I'll be giving away three of them to three different winners. If you want to enter that, it's in the description of the video. Uh, give this video a like if you liked it. Share it with your friends. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! I'll catch you guys later. See ya.